Chinese input methods are methods that allow a computer user to input Chinese characters. Most, if not all, Chinese input methods fall into one of two categories, phonetic readings or root shapes. Methods under the phonetic category usually are easier to learn but are less efficient, thus resulting in slower typing speeds because they typically require users to choose from a list of phonetically similar characters for input. Whereas methods under the root shape category allow very precise and speedy input but have a steep learning curve because they often require a thorough understanding of a character's strokes and composition. Other methods allow users to write characters directly onto touchscreens, such as those found on mobile phones and tablet computers. An early experimental Chinese keyboard with many keys was developed by researchers of National Chiao Tung University in Taiwan, but it never became mainstream. Chinese input methods predate the computer. One of the early attempts was an electromechanical Chinese typewriter Ming Kui which was invented by Lin Yutong, a prominent Chinese writer, in the 1940s. It assigned 30 base shapes or strokes to different keys and adopted a new way of categorizing Chinese characters. But the typewriter was not produced commercially and Lin soon found himself deeply in debt. Before the 1980s, Chinese publishers hired teams of workers and selected a few thousand type pieces from an enormous Chinese character set. Chinese government agencies entered characters using a long, complicated list of Chinese telegraph codes, which assigned different numbers to each character. During the early computer era, Chinese characters were categorized by their radicals or pinyin romanization, but results were less than satisfactory. A typical keyboard layout for the Kangjia method, which is based on the United States keyboard layout Chu Bong Fu invented a common input method in 1976 with his Kangjia input method which assigns different roots to each key on a standard computer keyboard. With this method, for example, the character is assigned to the A key, and is assigned to be typing them together will result in the character. Despite its steeper learning curve, this method remains popular in Chinese communities that use traditional Chinese characters, such as Hong Kong and Taiwan, the method allows very precise input. Thus allowing users to type more efficiently and quickly, provided they are familiar with the fairly complicated rules of the method. It was the first method that allowed users to enter more than 100 Chinese characters per minute. All methods have their strengths and weaknesses. The pinyin method can be learned rapidly but its maximum input rate is limited. The VUBI takes longer to learn, but expert typists can enter text much more rapidly with it than with phonetic methods. Due to these complexities, there is no standard method. In mainland China, the VUBI and pinyin methods such as Sogo Pinyin and Google Pinyin are the most popular. In Taiwan, Boshiumi, Kangjia, and Nuyen predominate, and in Hong Kong and Macau, the Kangjia is most often taught in schools. Other methods include handwriting recognition, OCR and voice recognition. The computer itself must first be trained before the first or second of these methods are used, that is, the new user enters the system in a special learning mode so that the system can learn to identify their handwriting or speech patterns. The latter two methods are used less frequently than keyboard-based input methods and suffer from relatively high error rates, especially when used without proper training, though higher error rates are an acceptable trade-off to many users. In recent years, online e may have become more scarce, owing to the proliferation of cell phones and apps. Interface of opinion input method, showing the need to choose an appropriate word out of a list of options. The word typed is Wikipedia in Mandarin Chinese, but the options shown include Wikipedia, Encyclopedia, Wiki, Crisis, and Rules Violation. The user enters pronunciations that are converted into relevant Chinese characters. The user must select the desired character from homophones, which are common in Chinese. Modern systems, such as Sogo Pinyin and Google Pinyin, predict the desired characters based on context and user preferences. For example, if one enters the sounds Jicheng, the software will type, but if Jicheng is entered, will appear. Various Chinese dialects complicate the system. Phonetic methods are mainly based on standard pinyin, duyin slash bapamofo, and juping in China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong, respectively. Input methods based on other varieties of Chinese, like Hakka or Minin, also exist. While the phonetic system is easy to learn, choosing appropriate Chinese characters slows typing speed. Most users report a typing speed of 50 characters per minute, though some reach over 100 per minute. With some phonetic emails, in addition to predictive input based on previous conversions, it is possible for users to create custom dictionary entries for frequently used characters and phrases, potentially lowering the number of characters required to evoke it. 
Swangpin the Microsoft Pinyin 2003 Swangpin Scheme Swangpin, literally dual spell, is a stenographical phonetic input method based on Hanyu Pinyin that reduces the number of keystrokes. For one Chinese character to two by distributing every vowel and consonant composed of more than one letter to a specific key. In most Swangpin layout schemes such as Xiaohe, Microsoft 2003 and Zaranma, the most frequently used vowels are placed on the middle layer, reducing the risk of repetitive strain injury. Swangpin is supported by a large number of pinyin input software including QQ, Microsoft Bing Pinyin, Sogo Pinyin, and Google Pinyin. Play media typing Chinese with Kangjia. Thanks for watching.